Hi there, I'm Tyler, a.k.a. Ty Force. And I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Stash Browns. Mmm, that alias hits the spot like a warm cookie on a rainy day. <laughs> well, we have Toy Box TV viewer. Hey, what are you doing making suggestions? Yeah, I wanted to throw my hat in the ring. <laughs> well, good job, and thanks for that delicious idea. You know, when baking cookies, you need a recipe. And with any recipe, you need clear instructions. Otherwise, disastrous things can happen. I think we all can remember the infamous noodle incident of 08. Oh, yeah. And the same thing can happen when someone plays your toy box. Without clear instructions and hints, the player can get lost and confused. Luckily, there are lots of great ways to guide the player through your toy box adventure. Well, first of all, you can write the story and objectives in the toy box description that players see in community content, as well as in the challenge maker description that pops up when a challenge starts. And of course, throughout your adventure, you can have text windows pop up that tell the player what their next move should be. Yes, those text windows are great, but unfortunately a lot of people, uh, totally not including me, can get impatient and skip past them without reading them, or just not even notice. This is Tyler. Tyler doesn't read instructions. Now Tyler is lost. Don't be like Tyler. I have a condition, Ryan. Uh-huh, sure. So one thing that can help is to give the player one more reminder with big, bold, banner, text, BAM! Try ignoring that brain. Another hugely helpful tool to guide the player is the radar beacon found under Creativa Toys. It can be connected to locators, townspeople, or enemies, and you can have it activate and deactivate as needed to lead the player from one objective to the next. In its properties, you can even set it to appear on the player's radar. Yeah, you know, that's, that's probably why they call it the radar beacon. The player will easily see what direction they need to go for their next challenge. Look over there in the distance! Is that an older, even more distinguished Stash Browns? Oh, so distinguished! Uh, the years have been kind. Radar beacons are also great for pointing out levers to pull or buttons to push. The distance checker is another super helpful toy. You can connect it to two different things and it will display in numbers how far away the two are from each other, just like in the play sets. Only 20 more steps until that delicious Big Kahuna Dr. Stashington Burger. Another one of your greatest allies is the target camera. Attach this baby to a locator or a mission giver, then activate it to really call attention to the player's next order of business. You can even attach the target camera to a path creator to walk the player through obstacles they're about to face. How considerate. Mm -hmm. There are other visual cues you can use to lead the player where they need to go. Something as simple as a colored path on the ground made of basic block floor pieces, or the shape of the terrain, or plant pieces that form a corridor will all indicate the road to follow. Path of collectibles will also lead the player along like a trail of breadcrumbs or, you know, pizza slices. P I Z Z A? Of course, with all these ideas in mind, sometimes it's just fun to watch the player suffer. I, I mean, to watch the player explore off the beaten path. Just make sure you don't let them lose sight of their main goals and objectives. Otherwise, they'll be as befuddled as a droid taken over by the power of the Force. <laughs> been there. Uh, more times than I'd like to admit. Well, that's it for this Tips and Tricks. Leave any questions, as well as any new ideas for my alias, in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other Tips and Tricks videos for more ideas on building your own epic toy box.